So guys, what you're going to need for this one is a nice blank wall, um, preferably one that isn't battered like the one that I'm using today. Um, you're also going to need like colours for your graffiti piece. Um, a couple of shades of grey, you can use like three shades of grey if you want. Like the more shades the better because you're going to get more like detail and definition in there with more shades. But two is fine and that's what I'm going to be using today. Um, and then a black as well and also like a slightly darker shade than what the colour of the wall is. So for instance, if you've got a white wall, then you're going to use like a light grey or something. For this, I've got like a, well, it's a light blue, but it's slightly darker than the wall that I'm using. Um, if you was using like a, a wall that was this pinky colour, then you'd use like a darker pink or like maybe a red or something like that. Um, I'll explain what that's for like later as we go throughout the video, but you're going to need that as well. So the first step is to go on with the black and we're just going to sketch out the shape of our wall break. Um, if you like a broken wall is a broken wall at the end of the day it's going to be all smashed up and uneven so just try and do it but if you can't sort of vision in your head what it should look like then feel free to go on google and just type in picture of a broken wall or something like that and you'll get some examples on there and you'll be able to get some inspiration from it so i'm just going to go on and shape this up with my black you can see like lots of cracks and stuff coming off of it what I do is I get the main shape first and then after I will come around it and do like other cracked bits as well on the wall. So I've got the main shape of the broken wall now that I want. Um, now I'm just going to go on and I'm just going to do like some extra cracks coming off of it and stuff. Like just extra broken bits. Just like what it would be on a normal broken wall. You can go as crazy as you want with this. Like you can go super detailed and put loads of them on. Or you can just put like a few on it still looks good either way. So I've gone through and added loads of detail into that now. Um, on some of these bits I've like made the crack thicker as well just to make it look like it's broken and sort of moved away from the surface. Um, now the next step is we're going to put like a, a bit of a 3D edge on the inside of this. So you want to come like about this far away from here and just follow this line around the whole way around so that we've got like a bit of an edge on it and then we're going to come through later and shade this in so that it looks like it's got a 3D edge. So I'm just going to follow that round like that, it hasn't got to be like spot on. So once I've followed that round, I'm now going to come up and start connecting it to these little broken pieces. So it looks like that is a 3D piece there. It might not make too much sense at the moment, but when we've shaded this in in grey later on, it'll make a lot more sense and this will look like an actual piece of wall that's like broken off and it's got the lip on it here. So you can see the thickness of the wall.
not sure how that looks on the camera, but it should be starting to look a bit more 3D now. Um, I've put all these edges in. You can actually just colour this whole bit in grey before you do that and put the edges in after, but I just prefer to put them in first. Now what you want to do is come through with your darker shade of grey and we're just going to colour in these sections like to the edges here. So I'm going to colour in all of the sections and then we're going to come through and shade it and highlight it after. So I've got all these bits coloured in grey now with my darker shade. Um, one thing I forgot to mention is like on the edges of these bricks, they all want to be coming like into the middle, like the lines that you do here, because this like gives the 3D effect all the way around the whole thing. Um, if you want it so that you can only see their edge on like the top and sides, then you can angle them a bit more down. So they're all angled into the middle so that you get to see the edge of the wall the whole way around. Right, so now I'm going to come through with the black can just at an angle and just start putting some shadows on the underneath of these bits. So you can just be a bit loose with this, just like hold the can at an angle and just come through it doesn't have to just be on the bottom just put some like little edges on it like the whole way around right so this is really starting to take shape now at this point is when you're going to need your darker shade of the color of your wall which I mentioned earlier and what we're going to use this for is we're just going to put like shade little bits of the edges of these to make it look like it's almost like leaning a slight bit forward because if it was leaning forward then a shadow would be cast on the front of it and it would become darker than this shade so this just gives it like more definition and a bit more depth makes it look a little more 3d you can also highlight the edges of these as well with like a lighter shade of the wall color or a white or something So I've gone ahead and added on some highlights to these bits now. I've done it as if the light source is coming from the top, so they're all on the top edge. But if you want it from the bottom or the side, just follow like generally one edge for the highlight. Um, you can also, if you want, you could add some more definition to these bits with the white. Just dust it on. It doesn't matter if you get paint down here, by the way, because I'm going to paint a piece in here in a minute, and then we're going to colour the edge in black anyway. So we're going to come back and chop that off just to make it look nice and sharp after. So. It, you can be as messy as you want on the inside part. Another optional thing you can do as well is to get your darker shade and just do some broken bits of wall that are flying off. So literally just get your darker shade and make some shapes. It doesn't matter if you overlap these. Just make some sort of broken wall shapes. So this is going to be the shape for that one. I colour that in and get my two shades of grey. I'll come on with the darker one first. 
and just angle them back towards the wall, come around the edge of it. shadow and highlight this too. through and just do a drop shadow underneath it as if it's in front of the wall. can see those bits just add like a nice little touch just make it look super 3d like there's actually bits flying out of the wall so the next step is now to paint whatever you're going to paint in the middle of it so i'm just going to go ahead and do a super quick time lapse on a um, graffiti piece and then we're going to cut around the edge with black and this is what's really going to make this bit pop when we chop off around the edge here you don't have to do a graffiti piece you could go ahead and do like a galaxy painting like what i did last week or like a character bursting out of here just whatever you want really Right guys, so I've just done this super quick bit of graffiti just to put something in the middle and now we're on a final step, we're just going to literally grab some black and we're going to go around the outside of this piece and we're going to chop off all of these bits as well. So guys that's the piece finished now and unfortunately that is this video series finished as well. I really hope that you guys have enjoyed watching and that you've learned something new. Um, if you have any questions about the tutorials that I've been doing please feel free to give me a direct message on my Instagram and if you'd like to see some more of my tutorials feel free to head over to my YouTube channel which is just called Graffiti Tutorials. If you type that in on YouTube then it should come up and you'll see that I've done lots of other videos on there. So I'll see you guys there. Thank you.